Oh, deserved it. The natural open side flanker. The Blues, Josh Navidi, the only new cap in the team. Summer tour in Japan. Dan Bigger gets it all underway. And there'll be determination from Japan this week. They came so, so close last week. They feel they deserve the victory. They've never achieved it against any of the major nations of the world. Navidi is the link man. Reskill. He'll have a goal. Scott Andrews arrives, the fellow prop forward, the man from the Blues. Navidi again, Robinson is out. Good hands for Wales, Owen Williams back inside. Didn't quite find Jonathan Spratt. But uh, the ball is released, and here goes that scrum half, Tanaka again. That's Navidi. Interesting background, his father from Iran, and uh, his mother, a well-speaking lady from North Wales. Number seven, at the back of the line-out. I'm sure he's more comfortable back at six, Navidi at seven. A better balance, and there's uh, Goromaru, the fullback is up. And the captain joins in, Hirose. Japan have a try. Craig Wing, the centre, has got there. And the game has uh, really come alive in the first ten minutes of the second half. And that's the response from the crowd at Tokyo. Josh Navidi has left. Uh, to be stitched up, we feel. There's the injured Josh Navidi, first cap today. I wonder if he'll return. Scott Baldwin is on there. A special moment for him, gaining his first Welsh cap. The hooker from the Ospreys, but there'll be no big celebration at the end of the game. That's it. The ball goes dead with Arumichi Tatekawa. And the stadium in Tokyo erupts. This, the biggest day in the whole history of rugby in Japan. The young Welsh development side could not match them, especially in the second half. Two tries to one. And Japan have beaten a major country for the first time in their history the final score japan 23 wales 8